Hey guys, it's Jax here. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get access to snapshots like the 1.19 pre-release so you can get awesome features like you see behind me like the mango swap and the ancient city. Now this is a Java tutorial, let's get going. Okay, to start, we want to open up our Minecraft launcher as we normally would. Just do this by clicking on your shortcut or on your taskbar down here where your Minecraft is or wherever you or however you open up your Minecraft launcher. And you should be presented with a screen that looks like this. Now you notice up the top here, we have four different tabs. We have the play tab, the installations tab, the skin tab, and the patch notes tab. The play tab is what we go back to. It's sort of like our home screen so we can click play and play Minecraft. But we don't want to do that just yet. We want to actually get to the 1.19 snapshot or the latest snapshot out. So to do this, we're going to head over to installations. Make sure that this box up here is ticked for snapshots and create a new installation. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it 1.19. Then I'm going to select the snapshot that I want. So you can either select the latest snapshot up here. Now this will constantly update to the latest snapshot. So if 1.19 pre two is released, this will change to pre two, or we can go just to pre one and it'll stay as pre one, even if pre two is released. So now that we've got that, we're going to click create here. So we can go back to the play menu, open this up and find our 1.19 version, which is just here, as you can see. Now, when you want to get back to your regular version, click on here, scroll and find your regular version, which should be called latest release. Or if you have something like Optifine, it'll be Optifine. And then you can click on that to get back. But let's go back down to 1.19 and click on that. Now we're going to click play and it should install it. The installation process can take a little while, but I've already have it installed on this PC, so it'll open up straight away. But don't worry if it takes a little while, it depends on your internet connection, but it will install. Just let it take some time. Okay, so now we're presented with a normal Minecraft screen, except it's got the 1.19 background behind it. Now, of course, if you're doing this when 1.20 is out in the future, hello future, um, this is going to have a different background. But for now, it's got the mangrove swamps. Now we can head over to single player and create a new world. Now, I definitely do not suggest loading one of your old worlds on here as snapshots can be unstable and that can lead to world corruption. So with your snapshots, I always suggest creating a new world. And until they have been confirmed stable, don't try and load them onto your um, old worlds. Name this whatever you want. I'm going to go on to, to creative because it's fun to explore in creative and create the world. So again, do not load snapshots onto your old worlds unless they are confirmed stable. But when they're confirmed stable, they're most likely going to be released and that's when you can sort of update your world. These snapshots are just to mess around. Because snapshots can sometimes have bugs in them. And if you do have a bug, find a bug, report it to Mojang using the link in the description down below. Or if you've got a crash, you'll get a crash log and you can um, report that to Mojang as well. But now we are in our Minecraft world. So we can head over and find a few of the fun 1.19 things. A great way to explore 1.19 is using the locate command. Using a command like this slash locate by a mangrove swamp, I can easily teleport and find a mangrove swamp. And so the one's 4,000 blocks away. I click on that and I teleport to it. And as I load in here, you'll see I am now in the new swamp biome. Doesn't that look fantastic? As well as the swamps, we also have our little frog buddies, which look absolutely adorable. And using a locate structure command like this here, locate structure, then ancient city, we can easily find an ancient city. And these look so creepy and ominous. I would not want to be down here in survival. So now you guys know how to play on 1.19 snapshots and on any sort of snapshot for future releases. And on that note, that is going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and remember to subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys later. And remember, stay carbonated.